Hey there guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be running a Axis 800 2016. We're going to be testing uh, pipes. We're going to be testing a SLP pipe with the silencer. And we're going to test a JAWS pipe. Only the pipe because I don't have the canister for it. But both pipes are supposed to be... You can run them on your stock uh, silencer. So we're going to test them, test this one with the stock silencer, test the JAWS pipe with the stock silencer and this one with the aftermarket silencer. Uh, I just want to show you one thing with if this one works, that it's very light. I have a scale here, it's only three and a half kilos. And you're going to see the, the stock one. Really heavy. It weighs. Eight point five or six, eight point six kilos. So it's twice as much weight as the, as the st stock. The stock silencers are a lot heavy, more heavy. That's what we're gonna do today, so I think we're just gonna go for it and uh, hope you enjoy it. One good thing with Joe's, they know that everybody needs a holder for their bears. <laughs> they always send this one with their pipes. Best for reading instructions too. Should peak on 8350 to 8450. No fuel controller is required. We just need to heat up the sled now. So uh, let's give it a go and then we'll run it for see what power it gets. Stock sled, everything stock. Let's go for it. Three point eight on seven thousand seven hundred seven hundred RPMs. It's not so. It's not great, but I think it's gonna do a big difference with the pipes. So yeah, we're gonna run one more time with stock, just when everything is really warm, 
just to see what happens. Uh, we're gonna run a second pull with the stock exhaust pipe, uh, just to see what happens when everything is warm. Engine is still 50 degrees. Uh, let's go. So we see 144.6 on 7750 RPMs. It's a little bit better. Uh, it's when the exhaust gets really hot, so the RPM goes up a little bit. But it, ge it almost gives the same power on 7850, it's still 143.9, so quite easy to tune when it's like with the stock exhaust. You have a lot of room to be on. So that's it, let's change to the SLP pipe and give it a go. Now we mounted the SLP single pipe with the stock silencer. So we're just gonna give it a go and see if we gain any power. It peaked at 8050 RPMs and it pulled 153.7 horsepower. That's way better than stock. Yeah. We're gonna give it one more go, go. and uh, then we're gonna change to the Jaws Pi. No, we're first gonna try the silencer from SLP. But first, a run, one more run. Second pull with the SLP pipe stock silencer.
second pull, it gave the same almost 153.9, 8050 RPMs. We had a little bit higher intake temperature, that's why the numbers was low when we pulled it. But I changed the value for the intake temperature and the power is the same as it was in the first pull. So. We mounted the can now from SLP that should be with the pipe and we just give it one run and we'll see if uh, it performs any better. It's a lot lighter so even if it performs the same it's still uh, good, good shit. <laughs> So, we got 154.1, 8100 RPMs with the can, so it's a good can, it doesn't, you don't, don't lose power with it and it's a lot lighter and same horsepowers, it's 0 0.2 between them, so it's not that big difference, but uh, that's good, let's try the jaws pipe. Hello and welcome to my garage. My name is Ken's Mechanical Workshop. <laughs> and I am the Mongol brother. <laughs> oh yeah, soul brothers. <laughs> Polaris. Uh, now we're going to run the Jaws pipe, first pull, it's a stock uh, silencer and Jaws single pipe. So we pulled higher in RPMs and 151.6 horsepower, so a little bit less than the SLP pipe, but higher RPMs. Uh, we're just gonna shovel some snow on it and ride it again to see if the RPMs goes up a little bit more than, uh, than this.
knob in the wrong direction, <laughs> then your engine will just whoa. Uh, it made 153.5 on 8,300 RPMs. So that's good. Uh, we need to make a correction on the jaws pipe to test two. Uh, the air humine, humine, the moist in the air had uh, lowered a little bit, so I had to change that, and we lost a half half a horsepower. So it gave 153 horsepowers on 8,300 RPMs on the second pull. Uh, now we're all done with the pipe test for the axis and it pulled stock 144.6 horsepowers on 7750 rpms uh, the slp pipe went it was a really good pipe it went uh, only with the slp pipe 153.9 and with the can it made 154.1 on 8050 and 8100 rpm the jaws pipe was really good too, it pulled 153 on 8300 RPMs. I would, uh, the, we can say this too, that the engine has gone uh, 2400 Ks. So it's not a brand new engine and the pistons are not new, all that. Probably with, because the result, the stock results and all the other results would probably be a little bit better with new pistons and all that but that's not important now it's just to test like when you run a sled that had gone a few miles and you can see the results here but it's it's a good both the jaws and the SLP pipe is really good if you want higher rpms you should choose the jaws pipe and if you want a little bit lower rpms you should you should you should choose the SLP pipe I think the jaws pipe will probably be really good with porting because of the higher RPMs but that's just what I think you don't know until you have tested it but it was a good day and now it's a late night so we're gonna go home <laughs>